みなさん、こんにちは。So starting today, I would like to start a new season of my EJU、uh, learning course.、Uh, so I'm going to teach you to share you about the vocabulary、uh, that we are using in Japan,、uh, the words that you have to learn、uh, when you want to study chemistry, biology, physics, and math. So I would like to teach you this vocabulary through kanji method or the characters.、Uh, as my experience as a Japanese language teacher for just about two years,、uh, I realized that most of the students are quite weak at the kanji and so they struggle to make up these vocabularies. And the students from China, are, which are, are used to kanji and characters, They are very, very quick to study these vocabularies. So, I would like to、uh, teach you how to memorize, how to get i m a g e of this kanji through this video. I hope you can start、uh, learning and we can get a new good result in the future. So, take your notes and start writing. But before we start, I would like to introduce you how should I、uh, go going in this video. Here, as written here, the, the order of the kanji in this video is based on my choices, on the words that related to chemistry subjects. Okay? This is not based on your Japanese textbooks. So, for example, if you are a beginner who just s t a r t learning kanji from, let's say, N5 level, JLPT N5, N4,、uh, most of the easy kanji comes first, and then the hard one will come at N3, N2, N1. Okay?、Uh, but in this video, I would like to Uh, put the order in、uh, the subject of chemistry itself. For example, in Japanese chemistry curriculum, we'll start with atom and then we'll start with a chemical reaction and we'll start with lots of reactions, for example, like oxidation,、uh, elect uh, electrochemistry, and stuff. And we move on to organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry. Okay, so I will put these kanji based on the curriculum, not based on your textbooks. So I hope that you have. Just a little bit、uh, base of kanji, at least how do you think and how do you use kanji beforehand. So, I think my video is suitable for intermediate learners, for example, like N3 above level learners, or、uh, those you guys who are not really have allergic to kanji. Okay, here in the video, you will see like this panel. Okay, so you will see the character. You will see the readings, you see Ong Yomi and Kung Yomi here. Ong Yomi, Kung Yomi. So,、um, if you have learned before kanji, you will have to know both Ong Yomi and Kung Yomi. What is the difference? Ong Yomi here, as I read, wrote here in、uh, Hiragana, Ong Yomi refers to the reading based on the Japanese reading, okay? While Kung Yomi, Kung Yomi I wrote in Katakana here. Uh, which means、uh, the reading based on the Chinese reading. Okay, So, if you have learned Chinese before, the reading might look like Kung Yomi, not Ong Yomi. Okay? And in this video,、uh, since we are going to learn the vocabulary, which most of them are、uh, based on like two or more kanjis, we are use lots of Kung Yomi here. Next, what I want you to understand. It's not only the reading. The important one is the image or the meaning of the characters. okay? So, know well the meaning or the image of the characters. What is the character represents? okay? So, for example, we have two kanji here. And what this character represents, what this character represents, and if we match both i m a g e both meanings, what is the meaning of these two kanji of this word? So, we'll have the new meaning here. Okay? So, we have to search and write at least two words that use this kanji and think why it gives that definition. Okay? So, I got one, two, three here. So, actually, this method is the real method that I used when I was in、uh, school, when I was a student、uh, 12 years ago. When I come to Japan and start learning kanji, my sensei taught me about 10 kanji per day. So I study for this method for like one year. And then、uh, 
I ended up like 3,000 or 4,000 kanji by the time I graduated from the lab Japanese school. So this method is quite effective uh, to learn kanji. What I want you, again, is to image the meaning, to, uh, no, to, the, to image the meanings of the kanji. And then you can put into the words. So if you master this technique, when you see a new kanji, when you see a new word, you will find out the meaning or you can imagine the uh, meaning as quick as possible. Okay, so that is uh, the introduction video from me. I will see you in the next video. We'll start to learn kanji and then I'll split this video like probably five or ten kanji per video so you can easily track down what kanji or from where or until what kanji have learned and then prepare your uh, notes and then you have to write a lot write a lot and write a lot okay so see you bye bye